Hey everybody, welcome back to this build series where I build a workshop slash shed in my backyard. This is part three. We finished with the last video framing the walls. And so we got that back wall put up. We left a pretty good hole there because we weren't really sure what we we're going to do with the door. But I did figure that out later. In this video, we are going to hang the rafters, put the decking on, and the paper on the roof. Please watch the video through its entirety. There's some bonus footage at the end, some pretty funny stuff, and I hope you enjoy. These are our rafters. Seat cut, they call. Tail cut. Ridge cut. Our building has 612 pitch. Pitch is the steepness of the roof. Right here, he's cutting the ridge pole to size. We used a two by eight for the ridge pole. He's also gonna put a notch in the end. And that's for the six inches of overhang that I talked about with the rafters. I think we may have messed up in a couple of spots and it ended up being between five and six inches, maybe like five and a half, something along those lines. Either way, you want to have overhang so that your water drips off the roof and doesn't just drip down your siding and end up ruining your building. Right here he's cutting a brace for the ends this board not only acts as a brace for the the actual rafters that are on the ends but it also is a nailer for your siding once he got this board knocked into place you'll see he takes the level make sure everything is level square it's important to be doing through the whole process and that's something that we were doing i didn't film all of that but we we're definitely checking making sure things are square level plumb and you'll see that he's going to check the ridge pole as well with the level once everything seemed to look good which usually means it is good we were ready to move on to the rest of the rafters and I didn't film every single one of those, but I filmed a few, and we're going to let you watch some of that process. 
and here he's just laying out the the actual distance. We did uh, two foot on center for the rafters, just like we did for the framing. Always stuck to the thing, you know. These land on floor joys, see? Yeah. Rafters land on studs. Then everything bears the weight down on everything. Yeah. To the foundation. We actually ended up having just about the perfect amount of decking for this roof. We got kind of lucky. The only excess we had was what you see here, us cutting off the ends. And again, when you're cutting the ends off of your decking for the roof, make sure you're taking into account that overhang. Whatever it'll be, 5 inches, 6 inches, it doesn't really matter that much but make sure you're taking that into account whenever you're trimming all of your stuff and sometimes it's easier to cut in place we felt like it was in certain instances and here you can see him putting in these clips that actually hold the the pieces together the connections it's really not 
super necessary. I think they're called H clips, but I could be wrong on that. Either way, they're not totally necessary, but it adds to the strength. And for a shed like this, you probably wouldn't absolutely need them. But we went ahead and threw them on there and just to be uh, safe. They weren't really that expensive, so... And that's titled Old Man Mrs. Nail. Yeah, Old Man Mrs. Nail, right. For the paper, it's really not super complicated. Just roll it out and fit it to size. Make sure it overlaps on the ends. And then use those nails with the plastic caps. Pretty easy to hold it down in place. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't turn it off just yet. Stay tuned for that bonus footage. Look how many years we've been messing with guns. Mine is a needle painter, but it don't have no safety to punch things. Yeah. He's over on this job at well, Tom's brother's house about a year ago. We put these cabinets in for Tom and this buffet thing. I bought a little new Hitachi needle printer. I brought it. He's grabbed it up, man. Because <laughs> it's about six of them. <laughs> you know. Oh my God! You're right. Hey, hey, just barely stuck in me. But... <laughs> There you go. It happens to everybody. Could have shot you in the face, though. Well, it could have. Thank God he didn't. <laughs> <laughs>